African immigrant has one question for liberals erupting over Trump's shithole comment. The mainstream media has relentlessly attacked President Donald Trump over a rumor that he called certain third world nations shitholes. However, an African immigrant from one of these countries has interrupted the onslaught to ask liberals one brilliant question concerning their outrage. On Thursday, U.S. lawmakers leaked to the press that President Donald Trump had made unsavory comments about some of the world's most economically destitute and politically ravaged nations, allegedly asking, why are we having all these people from shithole countries come here? Lawmakers claim that Trump named Haiti, El Salvador, and African countries that produce a large number of immigrants to the U.S. to prove his point. Immediately. Liberals and the mainstream media purported this unfounded allegation as indisputable fact, once again triggering the left's patent political meltdown. However, just as the MSM and its easily swayed audience members launched their vicious attack on Trump, one African immigrant has raised a question to these outraged leftists that unquestionably deserves an answer. As a Nigerian immigrant to the U.S. and graduate of Georgia Military College, Chibuzo Ziani has worthier insight and opinion on President Donald Trump's recent alleged comments than any social justice warrior. Just after hearing the mainstream media perpetuate the rumor that Trump called African nations like his home country shitholes, Ziani took to Facebook to ask the offended virtue signaling leftists a brilliant question. If African countries are not shithole countries, why then should we be struggling to run away from them into European, Asian? and American countries respectively. He asked. Iziani explained that he doesn't feel a bit offended by Trump's supposed comment and instead proceeded to educate ignorant liberals and the left-leaning MSM. Along with agreeing with Trump, Iziani blamed African leaders for allowing African countries to be such shithole countries, and whose policies lead to Africans selling out whatever belongings they have and running to Western embassies in their various countries to beg for visas. Furthermore, Iziani thanked Trump for having the guts to say what most people are thinking, adding that if his words aren't accurate, we Africans should not be running away from our continent to the Western world. Having left Nigeria for a better life in America, Chibuzo Iziani understands firsthand just how devastated these countries are and why immigrants are flocking to our shores. Aside from applauding President Donald Trump's politically incorrect yet truthful talk, Iziani turned his focus to liberals, chastising them for their hypocritical condemnation and ingratitude of such a wonderful nation and leader. President Trump can work to make America great again, and that is a positive thing and nothing wrong with that, he wrote in a follow-up post. But why not our African leaders work to make African continent great again? Why can't the Nigerian leaders say the same thing as Trump had said and work to make Nigerian nation great again? Why can't the black leaders in America work to make the black neighborhoods great again? Again, Iziani called on those feigning misplaced outrage over Trump's alleged comments to question why people across the globe are dying to get into the U.S. if their countries are so magnificent and America is such a miserable place for foreigners. Can we for once ask ourselves why we the African people keep running away from our own countries into the Western countries to live despite the fact that most of our countries have wealth of mineral resources? Is any once again asked? Why must we keep on living in the white people's countries if we have our own countries? All happen because our African leaders are very cruel, self-centered, shameless, treacherous, and very stupid. I like how Trump usually calling spade a spade. Many others believed and agreed the same, but can't just say it as is. Iziani then confirmed the alleged comment, arguing that many of the countries Trump's critics are defending are worse than shitholes thanks to the foolishness of their various corrupt leaders. Iziani demanded to know who we are supposed to blame, the President of the United States who boldly called them out for what they are or the African countries' leaders who are so corrupt that they don't give a damn? Although they've done nothing to help minorities do better for themselves, liberal hypocrites are ever ready to censure anyone who suggests that America is great. In fact, it is because of our exceptional values and freedoms that people around the world are risking their lives to come here. Of course, if these outraged liberals think these countries are so much better, perhaps they'd rather go live in them instead of virtue signaling from the comfort and safety of their computer screen. Your screen.